welcome back or welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video today I am in my kitchen and I am ready to spruce it up for the winter time I have taken down all of my decor for Christmas and while I have enjoyed these couple of days of having nothing in my kitchen I am now craving some coziness I mean we are still in the winter time in the winter season it is currently snowing outside and as much as I would love to hop over winter and go straight into spring I'm learning to enjoy the seasons we are in and not to rush anything so since we are in the winter season I will be tackling my kitchen I will also be sharing a DIY that I'm doing on the island so if you guys are into the DIYs I will leave a timestamp right here where you can just jump over that and watch the decorating portion but if you guys are ready let's go ahead and get started before I start decorating my kitchen for the winter time, I do want to go ahead and focus on my island. Me and my husband built this item and put it into our apartment. It consists of two cabinets and a butcher block on top. But over the years, this wallpaper began to crack, especially in the middle where the two cabinets don't meet. And well, today's the day where I'm going to go ahead and make it over. I am a very beginner DIYer, so anybody can do this very simple DIY. I'm going to start by taking off everything off of this item, including the trim, all of the boards, and the wallpaper. The wallpaper is peel and stick. I have used peel and stick wallpaper for many, many years, and let me just say, it is the best invention ever. Sometimes you can get it off in a big chunk, sometimes you can't. Today wasn't so terrible. I felt like I was able to get quite big chunks and let me tell you this was very very satisfying to do and watch. I will make sure to leave all the links down below if you are interested in some of this wallpaper or the tools that I will be using. This here is a very, very temporary solution, so I don't expect this to last a very long time. I would do something permanent, maybe like shiplap or something of that sort, but I don't know how long we will be living here in this apartment, and I don't necessarily want to commit to something permanent, so I'm keeping things very simple and renter friendly. Now that my island is bare, it is stripped down to the bones, I will be bringing in my new wallpaper and this is stunning. It looks like a lime wash, it's such a beautiful color and I love that it has those lines and numbers on the back where I am able to cut and measure and make sure my pattern aligns. So before I go ahead and stick on this wallpaper, I want to go ahead and cut all of my pieces out first just to make sure that I have enough to cover my island. Peel and stick wallpaper is basically a huge sticker and I love this because if you put it on there and it doesn't align for some reason, you're able to unpeel it and peel it back on. And I'm not worrying about the tops or the bottoms of this because I will be having a board, some trim on top and on bottom. But I am doing my best to sort out any air bubbles. You can use a card, whatever you have on hand. And I'm also just using a X-Acto knife or you can use a box cutter. Whatever you have on hand to cut off the edges. Since I've already had these boards from the previous DIY, I want to go ahead and wash them. So I'm just using good old soap and water to wash the boards and I'm going to let them air dry for a little bit before putting them back on my island. These are already pre-cut. These boards I picked up from Home Depot. They were very affordable. You can stain them, color them 
for this DIY, I thought I'm going to keep it very simple and keep it white. So my boards are clean. They are ready to go. I'll be using this Hitachi staple gun. And this is so easy to use, you guys. I am a very beginner DIYer. So if I can use it, you can use it too. I'm just attaching the boards to where they need to be and stapling them in place. And this stapler gun does such an amazing job. I have used it in all of my DIYs around my apartment. I've done board and batten in my living room with this gun and it leaves the most smallest little staples like there's barely a ho hole in the wall but it does hold your boards in place. So if you guys are just starting out I highly highly recommend this. This is such a great investment. Have attached the boards to the tops the bottoms to the left and to the right and I will also be attaching this board right down the middle where my two cabinets don't connect hopefully to prevent further cracking but this is my island this is how it turned out I am so happy with the way it looks I am glad that I'm able to bring in a little bit more of a moody moodier color to break down the whiteness in my kitchen but now it is time for the fun part which is is decorating the kitchen so since we just worked on the island I'm gonna start off with the island I am bringing in this gorgeous jug vase that I thrifted for 89 cents and I did DIY it myself and what is the coincidence that this is the same exact color as the lime wash on my island this was totally unplanned I only noticed this after I put the vase on my island but I think it looks so beautiful straight along to our little coffee station I have a little tiny lamp there and to dress it up I'll be bringing in this live edge cutting board from Big Lots as well as this vase that is also from Big Lots I'll be styling it with the same greenery that I had on the island and this completes this little corner big on festive towels so I'm just bringing in a basic gray tea towel I am putting it on my stove and from this stove to the left I have my electric kettle that I also want to go ahead and dress up I will be bringing in this beautiful round board it is from Amazon I will have it linked down below for you guys as well as this picture this picture I picked up from the Target dollar spot for five dollars and it is practical to hold decor or drinks. I love home decor that serves many purposes. Over my sink, I am bringing in this beautiful magnolia wreath and I just tied a bow around it to dress it up just a little bit and it adds such a cute little feminine touch but speaking of the sink I also have my little soap dispenser and I am placing in this cute little thrifted little vase with greenery and that's as much decorating as I am doing today.
and that about wraps up today's video decorating for the winter time does not have to be complicated use what you have i love to kind of use my winter decor and my christmas decor that way i am still able to reuse items not purchase anything new i love the way my island turned out give me a second it is so crazy how it ended up matching this vase and it was totally unplanned I didn't even notice this up until I put this vase on my island and I was like, oh my word, they match so well together. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for being here and I cannot wait to see you next time. Bye.